Yo guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make some R&B Drake vibes. This is from my new Sacrifices 6 loop kit, which is on loopstash.com. Link to get that will be in the description. And don't forget, use code KAVI30, KXVI30 for 30% off of that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so first thing I started with in this sample is this Rhodes. This is from um, Arturia, stage 73. It's the jazz time preset. Put an RC20 on it little EQ to take out some of the, the low end, uh, just with these simple chords right here. And this is what this sounds like. So next thing I did, which was super simple, I just copied the same exact MIDI and I put it over in Keyscape to a piano preset. It's the uh, LA Custom C7 softest preset. So yeah, pretty simple. What I like to do is add a piano and like a Rhodes or a pad or something in these kind of samples because you want to have one section that's more in your face with the piano and then another section that's a little softer for verses and stuff like that leaves more room for the artist to rap, sing, you know, do their thing on it. After I had that, that's pretty much the basic idea of the sample, but I needed to add a vocal on top of it. And I went in and I got this vocal from Kemi Lopez Vocals Volume 1, which is on my vocal website vocal supply i'll have the link to that in the description as well this is what the vocal sounds like with no effects and pitched up two semitones <laughs> So after that, I put a little auto tune on it because I thought some of the notes were a little bit out of key just to clean it up a little bit. I added a RC20, the Magnitude Transition 1 preset, which is sauce. I added a Valhalla reverb on it. I added Shaper Box. Again, I got the demo, so I don't have the preset I used, but it's just to side chain it and give it kind of a cool vibe. I added another EQ to take out some of the highs and lows, and then I finished it off with a decimort to take out all of the, the high frequencies. This is a down sampler, which is super fire for that underwater Drake sound. And together with the Rhodes, they sound like this right now. So that's pretty much the, the basis of the sample. What I went in and did is I added some wind chime sounds and I added this little perk loop, which is just, I just took a snare and filtered it, added some reverb and had this little pattern playing for an accent. And that just plays in the background of the whole sample, just giving it a nice ambient feel. Last thing I did, I went into Analog Lab and grabbed a bass from Kill September's bank, and I followed just the root notes of the chords, just these notes right here, and then this is what that sounds like once it's bounced to audio. So nothing really going on with the bass there, it's just following the same bass notes. Last thing I did was I added this little, this little riser that just helps transition. Just to make everything kind of hit harder when the, when the next section comes in. I bounced everything to audio and then pitched it down. If you pitch it down in MIDI sometimes it doesn't give it that same greedy sampled kind of texture. So bounce it to audio and then pitch it down or up. It kind of messes the sound up in a good way, but that's what you want with these kind of vintage R&B sample kind of vibes. So all together everything is sounding like this right now.
But yeah, that's pretty much it. I arranged it out so that there's sections with both the piano and the roads with no bass and with bass, as you can see right here. And then I, I just stemmed everything out at the end. Simple tutorial. If you guys want more samples like this, I just dropped the loop kit. I believe it's got 37, something like that, of these R&B soulful samples. Link for that is in the description. And don't forget to use the code COVID30 for 30% off of that. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.